Um, do we have any additions? I don't hear of any. We'll review the minutes of October 17th. Here in front of us. Look good to me. I just saw one little thing. And it's a tiny little thing. It's just a typo, and I don't usually catch those, so I usually just read right by them. Uh, Chair Gardner assumed control of the meeting at 6.31 p.m. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I hate to bring it up, but... Um, I also, I did have a last name for Chris from Orphan Media from last time. Don't know. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's fine what you did. Last name with a question mark? All right. Perfect. Hmm? We don't know his name. It requires further investigation. <laughs> so I move to approve the minutes with that slight change. Second. I'll well, second it. Uh, Judith seconded it first. No, Judith I moved. It. Oh, you moved it. Oh, yeah. sorry. Okay. Oh, so John, John seconded it? Or You're, you? Your call. Uh, we'll give it to John because okay. I can't see him. Yeah. Um, could you, you can't see me? Whoever no. controls Jake that computer, it. could you get rid of the meeting oh, being oh, recorded? Okay. I'm sorry. Can you, can get, you get rid, rid of the of meeting the... being recorded sign? Just, Just click. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Click on got it. Just Paul, you can see me, right? <clears throat> now we can. Now you guys can't see my video. No, we can see it now. We can see it now. Be careful Problem with those okay. horses. Watch out. That's a nice picture. I like it. So. Yeah, the green ring. Oh, that's what that is. Nice. Right. 1919. Yeah. You should remember that. Started by a group of four farmers or eight farmers, right? Isn't that the agenda <laughs> that says that? Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 The meeting minutes of the 17th are approved. Um, public comment. We have public right here. I'm here on another agenda item, but okay. I can do it now, whatever you... No, if you're going to speak to a specific item, let's wait for that. Very good. Perfect. Comments, if I may? Sure. All right. And I'll make it brief. Uh, I'm wondering if, if you folks, the select board, have whether you folks have considered um, including uh, uh, the inclusion declaration in the town meeting warning. Yeah. Are, you, are you familiar with the, the inclusion declaration? Okay. So we've talked about it. So we've talked about it. We've talked about it. We and, just haven't gone over the meeting you know, warning specifically, which we usually don't do at this early date. But, but uh, we have discussed it. And it's, it's, it's been my thought that it's not all that meaningful if five select board members discuss it for 10 minutes and then pass something. Uh, that if we're going to pass it, I'd like to see a more inclusive process so that townspeople really know what we're doing. Uh, I don't expect there to be any objections. I just want it to be a, a more widely anchored um, decision. And you know, Paul emailed me and suggested it be a, a town meeting item. And we have a history of occasionally as a select board by our own motion putting things on the town meeting warning, which uh, you know, seems like a, a good idea to me. Could we get a little more background um, by the inclusion declaration, specifically what he was referring to, and maybe Paul's last name, because I don't know Paul. Okay. Paul, do you want to <laughs> <laughs> give both of those? Sure. My last name, Earl Baum, is spelled E-R-L-B-A-U-M. And it's easy for me to give you background on the inclusion declaration. It's a, I think it's three short sentences, which I'll be glad to read to you. Um, which, and it's a, um, a declaration that many towns <clears throat> in the state um, have adopted, many others are considering adopting. So if, if you'd like, I'd be glad to read you the three sentences. Sure, go for it. Town of blank condemns racism and welcomes all persons regardless of race, color, religion, national origin, sex, gender identity or expression, age or disability and wants everyone to feel safe and welcome in our community. As a town, we formally condemn all discrimination in all its forms, commit to fair and equal treatment of everyone in our community, 
and will strive to ensure all of our actions, policies, and operating procedures reflect this commitment. The town of blank has and will continue to be a place where individuals can live freely and express their opinions. Um, is sexual orientation on there? I heard sex, gender, gender expression. I didn't hear sexual orientation. Is that- I'm so glad that you asked that question because I was going to suggest that we as a town, if we adopt this, amend it um, to include sexual orientation, which is quite different than gender expression. Thank you for that. Yes. And- and the organization that is pushing this has recently announced that half the towns in Vermont have mm -hmm. adopted it. Well, maybe next time, Amy, we have a full, I think it's a full board consideration. So what do you well, think? We're, or what do we think? Well, we don't do the um, oh. warning yet. Yeah, my, my suggestion was yeah. rather than you know, be in a, I mean, if this, if we were facing some crisis that we really needed to take a stand on, then I'd say, yeah, let's go ahead and do it quickly as a select board. But um, I, I think it's better to have a, a more broadly anchored discussion of it, put it before the voters, and vote in town meeting day. Okay. How long has the, because this is the first I, I've heard of this, I'm just curious how long the board has been considering this. Oh, we haven't been. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, maybe we've been. For a year and a half. I'm just wondering. May, maybe I've been using okay. uh, language <laughs> referring to it uh, in, in a way that uh, wasn't clear because we have been talking about uh, Susanna Davis yeah. and the yeah. diversity, yeah. equity, yeah. inclusion right. work for yeah. the town. And uh, this is, maybe it's not part of the same package, yeah. but it was close enough in my mind that I thought we were talking about it. Yeah. So, yeah, we weren't really talking about yeah. that specific. Yeah. Okay. But maybe we can bring it up at our next meeting when Amy's here. I, I do appreciate bringing it up. And I'm not sure, I don't know if it's something that, well, it's something we should talk about as a full, full board, but I'm not sure if there needs to be a crisis or an emergency before we have or you know, feel comfortable deciding whether to adopt a statement that Paul just recited with that amendment including sexual orientation. Um, I think making a decision on that might be supportive and empowering to people in our community that, so, but- So I, you're saying don't wait to town meeting? That's my thought, but I think maybe we should have Amy mm -hmm. here, you know, have, a, have the full board for the yeah. discussion. Mm -hmm. So that's just, you know, I do appreciate you bringing it up and this is the first time I've heard the full statement um, and maybe yeah. we can put it on the agenda for next week. Okay, we can. Yep. All right. Ne All right. Next time I won't be here probably. I'll, I'll be in transit. Well, that's all right. I mean, we're not, the only thing that we would do is decide we're going to pass as a select board, but we would wait until you were here anyway. Yeah. Okay. Or, or put it on a town warning as yeah. discussion at the town meeting. Yeah. So that's really our. Okay. Our decision. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Paul. Thank, thank you, folks, for, for considering this. Great, Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, Sorry. thank you for bringing it to our attention. Thank you. Perfect. Care. Um. So we're done with that. And VLCT Town Fair update. I didn't have time to read your email today. No. No. I, I can. Saw that I can talk about it. it Do you there. want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Well, this is essentially part of it, and kind yeah. of Carl and I. Uh, communicated a little bit over email about this um, because addressing diversity inclusion was one of the sessions that I attended and really left there with more of a big question of what does that look like for East Montpelier um, and that's what I told Carl I think that it just that's really kind of it was an interesting talk and it was interesting to hear what other towns are doing mm -hmm. but the real takeaway from it was what they told most of us was you need to figure out what this looks like in your town and how your town wants to address this because all of the towns are unique and different. Um, huh. So it kind of led into this. I forwarded right. the diversity and inclusion statement to Carl and yeah. asked him if he was aware of this and what his mm. thoughts were and how he thought we should proceed. And that's when I told him I, I really left that, that talk, though, with hearing some great things done in other towns, really unclear as to what that would look like for East Montpelier. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I know we've, we've talked about that. Um, and then 
<laughs> and then I, th I should say Paul is not the, the only townsperson that's reached out to me about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it, ironically enough, I was contacted by another okay. president this yeah. week, uh, last week as well yeah. about it. So um, definitely it's on people's minds. So, um, And then another big one for me was just a session I attended on employee recruitment and retention. Nothing necessarily to bring to you specifically now it was more spinning a lots of things in my head um, mostly as it relates to the road to the road crew in the future when we need to start recruiting there some mm -hmm. very unique ideas that I'll need to get my own head around some mm -hmm. before we have a broader conversation about it but um, but it was um, definitely interesting um, and then really for Michelle and I at Town Fair, we were networking. We spent a lot of time in the vendor area. We were telling Carl about this because, uh, as you all know, we're looking at banks. We spent quite a bit of time with a number of banks. Um, so it was a very good uh, – I, I personally found Town Fair to be quite useful, but I'm brand new, so maybe I got more out of it than mm -hmm. a seasoned town administrator would. But um, We did fine. Yeah. So I'll let Carl. Carl has. Yeah, yeah. So I was there for the first day, and then I, I visited uh, just briefly for the town fair the second day, um, and uh, my time was at a roads meeting uh, uh, that had a lot of good information about maintaining roads. And um, my suggestion, I talked it over with Gina. She wants to review the tape of it, and uh, then get together the two road commissioners and Guthrie and talk about what we heard from the Agency of Transportation in terms of gravel budget, uh, how much you should be putting on, when you should be putting on uh, more equipment that we don't have that might be useful to maintaining the roads and not uh, not hurting the backs of the road crew and so on. Some, some things that uh, could help us maintain our roads better. And just you know, check in with Guthrie and see what he thinks about it and yeah. see if we think we want to propose any expenditures based on that or any, any different policies. Or considerations for the town garage as well as right. we look at that project. Right, right. So that, that was a useful uh, discussion. I look forward to oh, yeah. talking that about it That sounds good. So when are we going to do that? Um, when do you want to do that? I can talk to Guthrie and we just need to get some time. On the calendar. Okay. Be I'll, good. I'll be out of state the 21st through the 1st, and I'm otherwise available. No, I'll be out for a while myself. Okay. From, uh, what is that? To the 21st. Right. I'm leaving the 16th to the okay. 21st. Right? Okay. Okay. Right. So maybe sometime in December? Yeah. 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 So I'll be gone the 7th, 7th to the 14th. So in this memo to you, I put some information about the annual meetings of uh, VERB, the um, unemployment insurance arm of VLCT, Passive, the other insurance arm of VLCT and VLCT itself. And um, you know, everybody's in good shape economically. And uh, they're, they've hired more people. They've increased their staff by five at VLCT as a whole. Uh, primarily with grant-funded positions so that our fees don't pay for those additional staff members. And one of the new programs they have with an additional staffer is to help procure state, and, and um, I think the emphasis is on federal funding. Uh, uh, Sarah Macy is the staffer who, who does that, so uh, we were introduced to her. And uh, they've got a new executive director as of February of last year, uh, but because this is our first town, uh, our first in-person event like this since uh, the pandemic started, this is uh, our first opportunity for a lot of us to meet him. And he wants to visit select boards. Um, I think it'd be a good idea for us to extend an invitation to him to come and, and just get to know us a little better and for us to get to know him. And then we have the uh, every other year process of approving the VLCT municipal policy. That's the legislative agenda that uh, is good for the upcoming biennium. And in the past, uh, we have been involved in some disagreements over some of the things that have been um, proposed for that. And uh, there was nothing that I thought was too egregious in uh, the policy that was proposed this time. Uh, I do have the complete draft policy 
here with me, as, as well as uh, all the reports, if you want to take a look at that afterwards. And the PDF also contains a link to the municipal policy on, on the website. Uh, the only, th there were a number of things that I and some other people raised some questions about, but we decided not to push them uh, in terms of asking for a vote to remove them at this point. And I documented in here the one that probably received the most pushback. Uh, this was a provision that came into the policy at the time that we first had the general permit for stormwater on town roads. And that was a new requirement that, that uh, scared a lot of us. And we didn't know what it was going to, to mean for us. And the VLCT took the position that we shouldn't use the money from the transportation fund that we had been allocating to our town roads to pay for stormwater measures. But it now seems like you know, there's a pretty blurry line at best between stormwater measures on town roads and just good road maintenance policies. So uh, some of us really questioned having that in there. Maybe they'll take it out next time and maybe we'll need to do it on the floor next time. I don't know. Hmm. Is part of the general permit are there maintenance provisions, like yearly maintenance, or is that why they wanted a separate budget? For, for, uh, a separation for stormwater well there's uh, new provisions in terms of having to have stone line ditches and things like that it's um, it's work that towns weren't doing mm -hmm. before and uh, you know judging from the seminar that I went to on road maintenance it sounds like from a fiscal point of view it makes sense to be doing that work work to keep the roads from washing away and it keeps the water cleaner yeah so Good quality construction is hand in hand with mitigation of runoff. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's blurry, is what, is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how that works out. Yeah. So generally, things are being run on an even keel and improving in terms of getting, getting more staff on. There's maybe an alarming amount of turnover, but that's probably not unusual for organizations in the past few years. I mean, the municipal policy is not a hard and fast document that you have to follow. I mean, what is it's, it, how does it impact, for instance, us? Uh, our legislators, uh, legislative lobbyists, take it to the state house and use it to guide their Oh, action. I see, yeah, okay, right. And VLCT right. has a fair amount of clout in some yeah, yeah. things. Well, they, yeah, legislators have to have something to go off of, so that's something <coughs> that they use. Yeah. So it is, well, we'll see what happens. But, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if a bill doesn't come up regarding yeah. this, then you know, maybe it won't. Doesn't be mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. Huh. So, do y'all want to get uh, the Ted Brady in here? Have him just to meet and greet 10, 15 minutes on an agenda sometime in the next Sure. It won't hurt. Months. I mean, yeah. if we have a short agenda, it's yeah. a filler, so to speak. Yeah. Maybe maybe in February, when we don't have a lot to do between having it's put our, busy. our town meeting stuff together and waiting for town meeting. We can. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to be pretty busy in December, right? Exactly. In January, Budget, too. January is always busy. Yeah. And then after the town report thing gets done, before town meeting, yeah, we have some time. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And okay. then connected to the diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, so Susanna Davis, I believe, was on that panel. Yeah. Uh, I was I was not at that panel, but uh, I did make connection with her over the summer, and uh, now we're having this discussion again. I've reached out to her again, and. Uh, and thought I'd see about what she might want to come to the select board and talk to us about. So probably for next meeting, I'll be able to propose something. You can have her come in and visit with us if you want. I tried to connect with her, but I kind of turned around. I was speaking to someone else, and when I turned around, she was gone. And then yeah. I happened to walk out to my car, and I saw her getting into her car, leaving. I had to go grab something for my car, and she yeah. was, uh, she was yeah. so I think she had to head out pretty quickly yeah. after okay. she huh. spoke. Okay. So it sounds like you folks got a lot out of the meeting. Yeah. 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 So anything else on the town fair? Or should we move on to the next? I'm done. Okay. So, um, well, thank you. Um, sure. The next item is County Road Project Update. 
discuss? If you haven't been on County Road, it is beautiful, very mm -hmm. smooth, mm -hmm. a lovely drive. Mm -hmm. um, so Pike completed the paving last week. Yeah. Ironically enough, the center lines were, I, I asked Guthrie because I got a picture of them. We, we, Guthrie and I had just spoken about how to get someone out to draw the, to paint the center lines mm -hmm. on the road. And he sent me a, texted me a picture and said, they must have had time on their hands because <laughs> They were there <laughs> painting. Right. They were literally following Pike there that final oh, day right. of paving. Right. Oh, no kidding. Painting the, painting the center line. So nice. the center line is there. Um, Pike will return on next Monday, uh, the 14th, and that is when they will do the shoulder work. They will finish all of that. Um, and then the our road crew is, was working to have they've been working since Friday to you know people where the pavement is that there's a bit of a gap um, yeah. for people's driveways so they've been going and trying to bring that right. up to grade right um, and Guthrie said they expect to be done with that by midday tomorrow oh okay so. did he say there's a little bit like that on Cummings Road and the new apron there did he say I he didn't that? mention that specifically as it relates to the road crew I'm okay. not sure if that may fall under pikes um, because that's what the shoulder work part of their, their okay. process so um, okay. he didn't specifically mention that as it relates okay. to the, the road crew's work also what did you think judith you were right behind me coming yeah, in yeah, i thought I, coming I, in from the transition from east montpelier to montpelier there's not that big um, cutoff anymore but it is still kind of whoop don't what the two really, two payments yeah oh. yeah i didn't really appreciate it that much or, okay and the apron out to Cummings, I thought was pretty smooth. Um, I think they did a good job. So. Yeah. But so is that an asphalt thing where the two joints come together? I don't know. Mm. But, they're coming, mean, but they're not quite done, right? They're coming back. Oh, they're just yeah. coming back to do shoulder work. Right. All the paving's right. done. Yeah. Right. So usually so that's, that's it. Yeah. So it, maybe it'll be, it's you know, sort of like that place on Center Road where the yeah. culvert has sunk. Yeah. <laughs> Except that, there's that's no a reverse there. speed bump. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we accept it as a reverse speed bump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I anticipate speeding being next summer's uh, complaints. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That'll be that's easy why to I like. I, I was gonna. You know, I suggested a few years ago to adopt a rough road policy, yeah. but it didn't go over very well. <laughs> And one one resident took me aside, and they were really angry yeah. that I did. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and the road form at that point was not appreciative of that. So, but you know, rough road policy would slow down people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've I've gotten quite a few compliments. Everyone thinks the uh, guardrails are beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Haven't really heard any complaints. No. Um, Except for, which is what the road crew is working on, the, you know, trying right. to, to get the driveways back up to, yeah, yeah, to connect right. them with the new paved road. So um, what's this um, bullet? Discuss resident request for temporary road closure to celebrate project so I think that is what Mr. Larry Gilbert is here. Um, oh, okay. This yes. is a, a potential celebration for the road. So I will pass the floor to, uh, to Larry since he's joined us. Great. Okay. Is there some place I should be to... Yeah. 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 The camera will swivel. <laughs> yeah, wherever yeah, we're going. Welcome to the yeah. Great. I'm Larry Gilbert. I live on County Road. Wonderful, smooth, <laughs> <laughs> fast County Road. Um, so I'm here to ask you to close the road again. <laughs> oh, that's a possibility. Because we haven't had it closed enough this right. year. So. Um, um, so my proposal to you is that uh, County Road uh, be closed between, um, uh, from the compost company to um, Templeton Road on this coming Sunday, the 13th, from nine to noon, just three hours. And the reason we would do that is so people can go out and enjoy this incredible new infrastructure that we've created, invested in here, at a slow speed. So we would invite people to come out with um, bicycles and rollerblades and walk and baby joggers and just have four miles of beautiful, beautiful blacktop to uh, uh, kick, off, kick off the winter season. So uh, an opportunity for us to build community at a slow speed. So that's my ask of you. 
Exactly how that occurs, I leave to those of you who know how to do this. I think it would be easy. You just use the same detour signs and road close signs that were in place several weeks ago in the same places. I could have a team of volunteers who, if you put them out there Friday night, we could drag them into place at 9 a.m. on Friday on Sunday morning. At noon, drag them off the side of the road, and on Monday morning, Guthrie or somebody could go and pick them up. But however, the mechanics of it uh, are not my uh, bailiwick, but the idea is to just have an opportunity for us as a community to say, hey, look at this amazing thing we have. It's probably the smoothest road in all of Vermont right now. So, um, and it won't be always. So. Um, <laughs> Have you talked with anyone else, your neighbors or yes. anyone about it and how how interested are other people and if it were to be closed, would there be three people on it or would there be, you know, 50? You know, I'm just wondering. So I, I don't know the answer to that question. Everybody I have talked to, and I've talked to a lot of people in the past uh, week since I talked to Gina here at, uh, at, the, at the offices, uh, everybody is supportive. I've gotten a lot of emails from people saying, that's a great idea, let's do that, that'd be super cool. Um, nobody has said no, but I was kind of a, a select and biased audience. You know, my mm -hmm. friends are probably going to be supportive of something like that. So I can't, I can't tell you. I did, uh, at Carl's suggestion, I did have a conversation, I did, had an email conversation with Burr Morse saying, hey Burr, I'm concerned about Morse Farm and any impact this might have on you. What do you think? And he goes, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound like a big deal. Sunday morning, 9 to 12, that's not our peak time. Um, go for it. It sounds like a cool event. That's what he said. So, um, so that's my ask. Okay. Could you talk about the um, specific stretch of the road that you're suggesting this for and why you're suggesting Pompos for that the stretch? Road. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the new blacktop. Yeah. That's what I'm Four suggesting, miles the away. new blacktop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm jump from Compost to Templeton. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, the lower part of that seems steeper, less, uh, less likely to be enjoyed by people at a slow speed. I'm wondering whether it makes sense to constrict it a little bit. Well, I, I mean, I suppose, I, I suppose you could, the advantage of doing it the way I've suggested, in my opinion, is that that was the detour that was in place for months that no. people, people are used to already, no. and no. so it wouldn't seem like anything out of the ordinary. You, you could chop it up in different ways, I suppose, mm -hmm. in Barnes Road or, um, I, I don't know exactly or, what, Carl, but... Uh, or Center Road. I'm sorry? Or Center Road. Center Road to where? To... Could go to Templeton. Well, it go, that that is, it. that is where That's, it would go. So that the, is it. the detour would go up Center Road. Yeah. Right. To, right. to Templeton. You shut right. it right above Center Road. Is it, that's, yeah. that's a suggestion. Yeah. yeah. Right. Rather than and down then they detour Compost. around. Yes. Yeah. Center Road. Yeah. So how many people would Templeton. we get? I I don't know. I I guarantee you that for the next five days I will work my tail mm -hmm. off to make sure it's a lot of people. Yeah. I think I think you know the folks at Onion River Outdoors would be yeah. incredibly supportive. Yeah. We get a lot of bikers out there. Mm -hmm. um, so but just speculation. Last night they had uh, tens of thousands of people out on the streets uh, one street in Dubai. I know it's not the same <laughs> thing, but they, they they closed a major thoroughfare in Dubai mm -hmm. of all places. First time they've ever done it. Hundred tens of thousands of bicyclists out there. Mm -hmm having a party, mm -hmm. so. Huh. I, I'm all for it, and I wish I was going to be around on Sunday. I'm sorry? I wish I was going to be around on Sunday. Well, it's definitely, uh, well, it's good for community when you do things like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, that's basically, we've lost a lot of that in East Montpelier. We used to have Rally Day, which was a nice community event, so I think it'd be a nice thing to do. I mean, yeah. it doesn't really put people too far out. That's the only thing you could worry about is the through traffic yeah. on, this, on that road. My, from my, Maple Corner down through. Yeah, I would communicate to Callis. Or I communicate with the yeah. assistant count. Because obviously, there will this be Sunday to be communication saying? on this. I mean, this will yeah. have to hit from Porch Forum. Yeah. yeah. Be, I mean, we're, I'm certainly going to get some calls. Yeah, yeah you'll get pushed back. You, got the, you saw the post on Front Porch Forum about how it was mismanaged. The whole yeah, my, that's my, my, that's, my that's only hesitation is that is... It's kind of gone to bed right now. Yeah. yeah. And this yeah. is going to create a resurgence of, yeah. of yeah. this. Uh, there's a reason why I've been mute on Front Porch Forum because yeah. inevitably when I post, 
yeah. um, the blasting kind of begins again. So yeah. it's my yeah. view was everybody saw it getting right. paved. I let it be. So I've been mute right. intentionally um, because it's it's kept things at bay. But um, you know, on something like this, it's like, what can you say that's opposing this? It, it's three hours. This gentleman, it's a morning. community thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, what's wrong with it? Yeah, my, my only thinking, and it's funny, um, I just whispered to Gina that the blacktop made me think of wanting to go out and roller skate on it. Like, mm -hmm. as a kid, like, yeah. you want to be on the That's what I told Guthrie. <laughs> I wanted to just say. But yeah. the, um, I, I was wondering in terms of the, um, the way to minimize potential hazard, that, that you know, even though right. we had a detour before, some people still oh, went bypass the detour. Yeah. And, you know, I would not want, you know, some kids on, you know, whatever, right. you know, skates or skateboard or bikes and somebody who's determined to get, you know, to Maple Corner any way they can. Um, so there needs to be, if it were to happen, it needs to be, it needs to be monitored. That's a really good point. It needs to be monitored it, so that nobody... Well, the signage probably ought to be a little sterner than it was yeah. before. My, my, my intention there uh -huh. would be would be to uh, to put together a team of volunteers. Mm -hmm. I don't know I can do that, to man yeah. the barricades on each end yeah. to answer yeah. questions and direct, yeah. direct So there would be somebody there. Direct people around at all times, the entire three hours. There would yeah. always be that's, somebody at, at, at each end. Mm -hmm. Plus um, a, a, a group of people who would act as... as monitors along the road because it would be open to, to local traffic too right mm -hmm. coming out of if you live on county road, right you got, you got to get yes, that, true, get right. the store or something oh, sure. so so yeah. but but you know people would be there to say hey please go slow there's people on the mm -hmm. you know and the, and the instructions to the pedestrians etc would be look this is not a closed road it's just yeah, a, yeah. a very limited traffic road yeah. um so yeah. um yeah proceed at your own risk mm -hmm. um but I, I think I think we can manage that. So, what about just in terms of to address Carl's issue regarding the steepness from Cummings um, down down, like maybe um, have it start like from just north of Cummings? Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. And oh, just don't him. have that section open from the center road up. Yeah. So you know, put up the barricades just beyond Cummings. Um, so then, but but sense. but if somebody was doing through traffic, they would get up to that point, and then they'd have to turn around and go back right. down. Right, right, right. That's right. That doesn't work. So yeah. right. it works a lot better above center road. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm not clear. Um, You're saying put above Cummings Road. Above meaning um, that they could take Cummings between road. Cummings and Morse. Yeah, so like on the Morse side. So someone yes. could take Cummings Road if they yes, got. Yes, someone up. can take Cummings Road. But but right. then if they're going north, yeah, where would they, they go? Work. They they'd go out on North Street. They'd come out on well, North Street. Well, you can cut around. Go south and North Street to, around. Yeah. You yeah. can go that way. Right, but the the idea is if someone's yeah. coming north and they get to center, yeah. and there's a, a barricade there, then they can take the yes. detour around center and get to wherever they want to go. Easy cheesy, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than having to turn around. Yeah, yeah. Turning around and backtracking feels bad to people. I think. Yeah, and I think people are are used to that. They, yeah. I mean, they mm -hmm. for for okay. months for months just, yeah. people did that, so I think they can. can I think they. Yeah. Continue to do it. Yeah. Thank you for mentioning that about the yeah. barricades because you are right. Those are regularly knocked over, and, and even when the yeah. road crew was re replacing that culvert, um, yeah. that when they were doing that, people. people drove right up to oh, yeah. them with the road open, and yeah. they're like, you know. And I, I spoke with uh, the contractor that did the culvert work. I'm aware of how many people approached them as well yeah. um, while they were doing their work. Um, <laughs> someone literally was like, I need to get there. And he, I mean, the roads opened up. And he was like, <laughs> he, yeah. He's like, I didn't really know what to say to her. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. I, well, I understand and yeah. I sympathize and you have groceries in the car and right. you need to get where yeah. you're going, but yeah. yeah, he couldn't teleport her. So, right. you know, I mean, I, it, it was definitely an issue. Um, right. Well, so. in Randolph, I'm, I'm in Randolph each Labor Day weekend for the New World Festival and they shut down the main street there. Yeah. And, uh, and they have barricades and people mm -hmm. at the barricades so they occasionally let somebody in right for some important reason yeah, yeah, right. uh but they have to have a conversation with people there and it's like volunteers from norwich cadets or yeah. neighborhood or something and they also have uh sheriffs or some other yeah. official law enforcement car there so that I'm helps a lot actually yeah I'm, I'm wondering whether it might be time for us to you know, call up the state police and say hey you know those hours that you're doing for us could you do Three of those hours for us on Sunday morning, say at Senate Road, just to have some presence. 
I mean, we can certainly ask, but the odds of that are probably, I mean, this is, this is my only concern though, is mm -hmm. how much time is this now going to start taking to coordinate. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm happy to give phone numbers to other people, but yeah. I think we need to determine who's on point for the event and mm -hmm. for questions and whatnot. Well, I, I will call state police. I mean, we don't have any official board liaison to the state police, but uh, if, if you're okay with me taking that off of Gina, I'll call state police and make that request. It would be nice to keep people from going around the barricade. Yeah. I think if there's people there, though, to your point, yeah. I think that'll work. Yeah. Um, so. If, if state police says no, it's not a game changer. Nine to noon on Sunday is probably a, you know, a good time. Um, that's not... Yeah, and people aren't going to work. Yeah. 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 I agree. I think you should try it myself, but yeah. I'm, I'm a little more of a risk taker than some. Yeah. I think because that's... potential to be a fun... What's that? Community event. It does. Yeah, yeah, I mean, why not? I yeah. Mean, yeah, and you had said, well, you know, this is the idea, and I'll leave it to you, but if this isn't really, <laughs> we don't really have the staffing to make it all happen other than to perhaps provide the listing in Friends Porch Forum and work yeah. with Guthrie. Yeah. Um, but in terms of the volunteers and communicating, other than Front Porch Forum, to the extent you already have a connection with, have begun to network this with people, I would encourage you to continue I, to do I, that. I'm happy to take full responsibility, yeah. but I'm also happy to take responsibility for the phone calls. I mean, if you want to list me as the point person, mm -hmm. and I'm not acting mm -hmm. on behalf of the town because I'm yep. not a town yeah. official, but yeah. um, uh, you know, you certainly, you know, oh, you got a complaint, call Larry. It's yeah. fine yeah. with me. Right. I um, well, I mean, I think, I think. It would help to discuss what we would want to put on front porch forum because I'm not. We all know what's going to happen with the response just in general to front well, porch. Well, you don't have to put it on front porch forum, though. Huh? You don't have to put it on front porch forum. Larry, Larry can do it. can do it. Yeah, we can. We can pass a motion as a select board, and Larry, you can announce it to the public. Is there anything that we, we don't need? need a motion, do we? Uh, it no. doesn't hurt to have one. Do we need to do anything with need. Guthrie to, you know... I just need to let him know. He is aware okay. of this. Okay. He and I have spoken about it, and he said his response was, I got the signs. Yeah. I'm going to back out. <laughs> just tell me when. Yeah. So he was totally, totally comfortable with this, not concerned Yeah. at all. Thought it was an interesting idea. I so, mean, I, I, think, me I think because there might be pushback on this, uh, we, we should go on the record and just say, yeah, we're in favor of this. I think there's going to be pushback, but my yeah. hope is that there's also some positive comments on Front Porch Forum as yeah. well. So I would encourage yeah. your we're friends gonna, to respond get with some so positive. Much positive publicity. Yeah. So yeah. it's, okay. it's I think speaking of crazy. Burr, I mean, I, you good. know, even maybe encouraging. I mean, Burr's 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 posts on Front Porch Forum about County Road have been yeah. a blessing to right. me. So um, I think as much as people can respond with positive support, it yeah. would be it would be a nice counter to what we've been seeing because mm -hmm. I yeah. I get the positive. Just doesn't tend to make it to more more uh -huh. People uh -huh. will, you know, will call me even when they call with questions. Someone called me last week with one, and she was super appreciative. And you know, mm -hmm. it just I think people are just trying to stay away because it they're trying to. So I'm hoping this maybe can create some positive. It should be positive. I mean, yeah. yeah. The only reason it wouldn't be positive is people are just thinking about themselves, and it's going to take a little longer to go. But, you know, that doesn't always say a good thing about a person if that's all they're thinking of. Yeah, and it's a Sunday morning. And, yes. you know, a community event yes. where community yeah. things are so rare now and yeah. people don't get together, we should encourage it as a town. You know? I agree. Yeah. yeah. I agree. It's okay. So if you think emotions in order, I'll make one to close. I don't know if it really matters myself. I think by consensus is fine. Okay. Yeah. John, are you part of this consensus? I am. All right. <laughs> okay, good enough. <laughs> okay, we're, we're on the record, all of us. Yeah, and, you know, if you need, I'm going to be around, you know, yeah. if you need anything, you know, maybe I can do some of the manning the barricades. Or... Nice, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be selling donuts and stuff? Or? I don't know, I was thinking of that. You know, is there going to be a party? Let's, let's yeah. Get yeah. some cider or, you know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a burr. We can do some good business there. I was there. waiting to see what happened tonight before okay. I sort of got started, started getting <laughs> okay. into it, but believe me, the next few days will be... I think it's a good idea, and I think you should go for it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for the initiative. Thank yeah. You. It's, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Me too. It's a beautiful so, road. But, look for my so now that you, once you get your feet wet organizing this, then we can reinstate you as the chairman of the Rally Day Committee. 
And then we can get that going. Because <laughs> that was a fun uh, town activity. Well, so so speak, speaking of that, I guess um, I, 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 I could hold this comment, but I won't. So my thought was that if this is successful, and I'm pretty sure it will be, that I'm going to come back to you and say, let's do this once a month all year. Once a month? Once a month. Whoa. Every Sunday, the first Sunday of every month, boom, it's closed. This is like so common in so many places. This is not an original idea. Yeah. You know, right. It's an interesting very idea. I mean, so. you have a set Well, we'll see what happens. Everybody see what happens. To expect yeah. It. See what happens. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I hope the weather's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a little cool, but it's going to be cool. Yeah, but it's not going to rain on Sunday. Saturday is going to rain. Yeah. Okay. We'll bundle up. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in. If I may make one more comment that has nothing to do with that, I'm I'm a little bit surprised at the lack of ventilation in this room. So it seems like good, maybe, you know, a fan circulating air outside would be a good thing in a municipal building. So just a thought. Yeah. Some of us still use these yeah. because yeah, we, come, we come into places where it's stagnant. Yeah. Right. Thank so. you. Mm -hmm. enough, we had the doors open in the office uh, today. We've been doing that a lot. I mean, we're going to have to not. Well, it's we been warm. won't be able to do that soon. But it's been, been warm and kind of humid. Yeah. But. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your consideration. Okay. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Um, the next item is. Discuss 2023-2024 Mack truck purchase additional surcharge. Is everyone aware that's gone up? Mm -hmm. We don't have much choice. The matter of concern to me is that Sheldon Mack is going to be closing as of 1st of January. We're not going to have a local Mack dealer. Oh, dear. That makes it... Yeah, that's that a was, little... Yeah, that was the most surprising news of that phone call, but... Um... Yeah, that is not a good thing for all of us. I mean... We have Mack trucks ourselves, a lot of people do, um, and it's good for the town to have a local dealer that's giving us good service. Where is so, the nearest dealer besides this one? Albany, New York, or Manchester, New Hampshire. Oh, geez. Are the nearest. Well, so um, Mike Sheldon did tell me that Mack is looking at another location he thinks it will likely be in the White River Junction area. Okay. Um, so, but it's not yet. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it won't affect us for this purchase because he said if even if that comes, it won't be open at the point that we need to take possession of our yeah, truck, which we're is gonna, why well, we either had to pick between Albany or Manchester, and right. Guthrie and I discussed it, and Manchester makes sense because I think it's in Concord, New Hampshire, I think maybe, where the where the additional components, it's oh, somewhere really? in New Hampshire, that where oh, the it additional, is? so it's, it makes more sense for us to get it in Manchester than it does um, in Albany. Oh, I mean, um, as far as the plow frame goes yeah, and all that? Yeah, I think it's somewhere in New Hampshire that, or maybe oh, really? it's, I can't remember. I thought we were doing it more so, but I don't know. No, well, we were doing a Tenco, but they moved out of Barry. They moved up on the hill. I, I don't know where we're doing that. The plow equipment and all that. So I didn't think it was down that far. have spoken about this, and yeah. he is aware. Yeah. Um, so. No, it's a matter of concern, but as far as the surcharge goes, I don't know what... We don't have any choice. Yeah, I mean, Mike just asked, I don't know if you want to cancel. I was like, no, 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 no. no. Come on. I said, I'll take it to the board. Mm -hmm. and These days, you can't get anything. Of course, <laughs> you know, to make sure you still want to proceed with the purchase. Yeah. But I couldn't imagine there. Yeah, I just, I just get, get tired of having all these purchases where they come to us and say, oh, we're going to tack on another $3,000, another $5,000. And I understand that we don't have a lot of choice in it, but I'm wondering if we can do anything to push back and maybe we just grumble we say okay the select board was really grumpy about this but uh but they approved it I at the know. end of the day with the person i'm communicating with yeah, he didn't matter. even have anything to do with this yeah. this is coming to him from mac yeah so he's this is so i think mac's response would be you can cancel the order mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah well the, the problem is if you go to a different vendor for a different brand of truck then you're going to wait another year or whatever it is, a year and a yeah. half. It's the same thing. Everyone's yeah. having the problems. It isn't it's a, specific to Mac. We, we deal with it all the time. Out. We deal with parts, all this stuff. Yeah. What's the delivery time for this truck now? It, that's been January. Yeah, they're going to build in January, deliver in uh, February. So it will be a 2024, by the way, not a 2023 right. anymore um, because yeah. it's getting built in January. So. Mm -hmm. 
Mike was like, I don't know that that, I mean, it's a newer model year, but, <laughs> you know, he was very apologetic because he's, again, this is out of his control. Right. So this, yeah. this memo was sent to him as well. Right. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. These are. And yes, John, the timing has most definitely shifted for this. I mean, the only thing you can do is say we go to a different truck, different vendor, different brand, and then put it off another year. So I don't see that we have any choice. So it is what it is. If anybody else has any ideas, but I don't. I don't have any myself. No, I think we should just all mutter quietly under our breath. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I guess we need a, um, a motion to approve the additional expenditure. So moved. Second. <laughs> all those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Deidre, do you need more specific guidance than that? No, Gina put it in the... Uh... Okay. Okay. The next thing on our agenda is the town treasurer report. Um, anything new on this? No. I mean, we're, we're finally catching up, at least. This is a September report. Michelle's going to start working on October. As you all know, a lot of this delay has been due to delays in having the bank statements um, available to us. So she's just been playing catch up. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, we are still experiencing, we have one today, some issues with um, the bank. So um, yeah, remote deposit suddenly crashed today. And it's tax payment time. So that was ideal oh, to have geez. a hundred check that's sure. sitting on her desk that she could not um, remote deposit. So wow. today was an incredibly, it was a frustrating afternoon for Michelle. Yeah. Um, so, um, but I hopefully will have some bank information to provide you. We have met with banks. Um, right. Next I was meeting. Ask you that. So um, yeah, we have we have met with three local banks. So um, oh, nice. these, these issues are becoming. This is, I mean, this was kind of crazy today that we were completely locked out from being able to deposit. Um, so and in fact, Michelle even was locked out from the bank temporarily. She couldn't even log in. <laughs> Something went wrong with her token. Oh jeez. So uh, yeah, it's um. Kind of surprising. It's very surprising to me the huh. issues that we're having. So I kept her calm today, um, but uh, <laughs> so she's she's still working on getting financial reports. And, and right now she and I both are trying to kind of put our heads together. I'm working on trying to build budget reports and some of this as well. So um, yeah, nothing excessively earth shattering in here. So okay. Kind of standard report. Well, I look forward to hearing a report about the local banks. Yes. In our options. Me too. We I, haven't gotten I, anything back from them yet, but we did have three very good meetings. And, oh, nice. um, so. Okay. Yes. Well, that's, uh, I'm looking forward to the conversation. And I know Carl and I both have talked about local banks and this, that, and everything else just a few years ago. Yeah. And um, it didn't really go anywhere for one reason or another, but I think this is a good time to. One Open thing that's very interesting that we found out is we pay about $133-ish every month or so in fees. And huh. the banks we met with were quite surprised at the fee huh. as soon as they got our, because we provided our statement, because that's yeah. when you work with banks, it's the easiest way for them to see what you have. Yeah. And they were all commenting. It was very surprising when the, when, it, when the third one looked at us, like, we're paying fees because we're a municipality. They found that very odd. Huh. Um, so... Huh. Huh. And there were some interesting already, much higher interest rates. I, I think we'll also be looking at just an, an overall improvement for the town um, yeah. when we do move forward. So Right. Um, Good. So yeah, I look forward to bringing that to you. Oh, team. that sounds okay. great. Good. Okay, so um, that takes care of your town treasury report? Yes. Okay. Uh, so the next item is discuss emails for select board members. So Microsoft has a pretty economical solution, it turns out, um, that can provide emails. Um, it's a Microsoft basic, um, it's a business basic. Um, and what I like about the Microsoft option is your emails will look just like the rest of us. Um, with these, it'll be at eastmontpelierbt.org, mm -hmm. um, which I think is kind of nice um, that we'll have that consistency. So I propose that we 
set up emails for each of you and using your one one option was do we set them up as you know just a generic but i like the idea of using your names um yeah. so if you all are agreeable to that yeah and then as people come and go on the select board, of course, we'll have to change these out, yeah. but that's not a big deal. The only right. cost to that, the licenses will stay the same. The only cost is really for RB Tech's time to yeah. switch out the names. Yeah. Um, so John did get some information on um, a Google solution, which I haven't really, I, I looked at it briefly. It, it appeared to be similar in cost. They had the same type of thing um, with Google Workspace, but I thought you guys would probably want me to pursue the Microsoft option with RB Tech since it keeps a consistent email address look yeah. for the town. Yeah, yeah, that sounds so good. So if you all agree with that, then I will get RB Tech working on that and communicate back with you once everything is set up and how you access it and all that kind of fun stuff. Excellent. Okay. Good, yeah. sounds good to me. Thank you. Perfect. Do you have any comment on that, John? No, I, I think it's fine one way or the other. Uh, using Microsoft or Google, it's pretty much the same cost. Google used to, Google used to be free, but this year they, they started charging. So it's, it's pretty much the same. I mean, we had we had HarvardBT.org, so it's and ours were all the same. So if you can do them all the same, that works better. Good, perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look forward to that happening. Um, the next item is going to take a while, so I'm glad we're slightly ahead of the time. Um, we have a multi multi page. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just given you the numbers and not yep. given you all of this, but it's I measured poured in over inches. these quotes. <laughs> I poured over these quotes. <laughs> so to give you a little background, we, we reached out, Office Environments was the first company we reached out to because honestly they're the only full service office yep. furniture company that serves this area. Um, I found a couple others, that, or at least one other, that appeared to be one, but when I reached out, I got a kickback that the email address is no longer valid, so the oh, company is no longer working here anymore. Mm -hmm. And Office Environments does have the state of Vermont contract as well, so oh. they are kind of the yeah. only slash biggest kind of operation in town. So we, we had a quote from Office Environments a, a few months ago. The struggle to bring this to you has been trying to get a comparable quote. Uh, yeah. Two days. Um, I was comfortable with the numbers that I saw based on my experience with with office furniture. Um, but we did get a quote uh, from the, um, yeah. it's, as you see, it, the prices are fairly comparable. Um, the only flaw in McGee is the design is not really what we want, and it's taken us a lot to even get to this point. And they're, they're great at office supplies. They just really struggle yeah. at, at designing this. Office Environments has come in. He's, he's been here twice. The second time he came, he actually brought chairs that everybody sat in to, to determine if the chairs would be comfortable because he, which I, I agree with, and, and I've seen this in my experience with office furniture, it's helpful if people have an opportunity to try out the chairs um, yeah. before you buy them if you can. Um, so that was very helpful. So from an office furniture perspective, the only reason I broke the chairs out um, in what I provided you in the select board memo is um, I think it's better to kind of look apples to apples. So let's look at the furniture and then let's look at the chairs. Um, office environment chairs certainly are more expensive than the chairs we were quoted, quoted by McGee, um, but we haven't seen the McGee chairs, so I can't yeah. tell you if they're a direct one-to-one. -one. We, we did, their, due to varying body types within the office, there are two different types of chairs um, that we have gotten quoted, and it was the same for McGee. Um, but we would obviously need to see those, those chairs before we were to move forward. But um, from a furniture perspective, Everyone has reviewed all these. Uh, I'm speaking for office environments in particular. McGee, if we were to go that route, we would. We, we still have quite a bit of work to do on their design um, before we had something that actually was what we requested. What they have now doesn't work. Um, for example, there's overhead bins in the pricing structure for um, the town treasurer and zoning administrator joint office, and you can't have bins with standing desks. Uh, overhead bins, you'll your computer equipment will slam up into the bin. Um, so we there's there's a lot of issues with with that one if we if we went that route. And honestly, we have some concerns with their ability to fulfill this if we did attempt to proceed with maybe. Um, so with the office environments floor plan, everyone has reviewed it in detail. Everyone is happy with it. 
um, and this is what they were all involved in the process. So mm -hmm. um, when the individual when the individuals were here for both making and office environments, so we would be looking at. An investment of $16,825 um, to get new furniture from office environments um, versus $18,000 with McGee. And then again, the chairs are just under $2,800 office environments, $1,500 with McGee. But I don't know if when we look at the chairs, chairs with McGee, if that price would hold or change. I can't tell you that that's a set in stone price just mm -hmm. yet. I would not order those chairs without seeing them first. Sure, sure. Well, it sounds like office environments is what we got to go with. They're definitely, they're what I am used to working with as it relates to office yeah. furniture. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, no it's in their right. wheelhouse, it's what they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They McGee. outfit the state of Vermont. Yeah. They've yeah. passed that pricing along to us. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, thank you for making the extra effort to yeah. get McGee in. To get we needed to have something. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, you know, I right, certainly right. could have pulled some things from my prior life, to, to in which I, I knew I was, I was actually quite pleased. I actually expected the pricing to be a little bit higher just because mm -hmm. I thought me coming from a bigger market with a bit more competition mm -hmm. that the pricing would be a little bit lower, but these are actually right in line with what I've seen. So. They'll get back to us and tack on another two thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> we already the fuel had went up. I run fuel the, went up. Yeah, right. The first the first quote we got, no kidding, we already really. had to get it redone because we waited so long because uh, we were just struggling to try to get a comparable yeah. quote for me to bring to you. Yeah. Um, but I mean it, it you know, our purchasing policy we did need to, so mm -hmm. we we got to. <laughs> so it took a little effort for me to get to get that second to, to try to really match up. But mm -hmm. um but there were, you know, pluses and minuses on both sides there. So um, good. Well, I, it sounds like you've done a thorough process of f figuring out what needs to be here, where it should go. You've worked with all the staff members who will be affected by this, and uh, I'm I'm all for going forward. So I move to approve the quote from Office Environments to purchase t the new office furniture, including the chairs. Well, one thing I want to discuss is where's the money in our budget? Well. ARPA could technically cover cover this. Um, oh, ARPA. We have, oh, really? Oh, this is absolutely town office improvements are absolutely covered by ARPA. So, this is stuff that we still have to figure out, Michelle and I, how the budget all okay lines up. Yeah, because I was looking at the outside of the office the other day or Sunday night whenever I came down, or oh, this morning actually I came down to the payroll before anyone was in here. It goes a lot quicker. Um, <laughs> And I said, oh, the paint is peeling off here, there, and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I was just working at my own house today. I'm like, I do have to do some maintenance. But there's more, and the, there's a capital improvement committee yes. meeting mm -hmm. coming up uh, yeah. uh, next week. Yes, next week now. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely, I'm trying to understand where all of these types of things are budgeted. Yeah. Um, well, no, we've been putting yeah. some money in there. Exactly. And I'm not quibbling over the money. I just yeah. was curious. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, where, where do we have that money? Yeah, we that this all. How much money are we putting away? At, I don't know off the top of my head for improvements to the building because we have a line item there for maintenance, right? Yes, we do. But it wasn't very. It was like three thousand a year or something. It's not that much, but it's we haven't spent much of it either. No, there there right. hasn't. Well, questions that's going to come up at the CIC meeting will be: Do you want to continue to put the same amount of money away? Do you want to add money to it? And Primarily, I think they want to discuss the, you know, building, you know, building or improving that office one way or, or another. But I think that aside from all that, I think that we need to, uh, maybe we should allocate a little bit more money. It's an older building. It's not getting any younger and set aside a, an additional money. I, I'm just trying to think what I'm going to tell the uh, CIC group when we get together next week um, about what our plans are. Well, I think what... Well, I think one of the things we got to figure out is how much money is in that budget right now. What we spent, what we, you know, what's there, and that'll give us a good idea. And if this office furniture is going to come out of ARPA money, of course, that's not going to deplete our fund that we already have, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll figure it out as we move along, but it may not be ready for your CIC meeting. Well, I think with right. the CIC, I mean. I asked a lot of questions in the last meeting to try to understand where some of these replacements are budgeted. Like, I mean, I haven't brought up the computer equipment, like the server. I'm not talking yes. computers. I'm talking about the big dollar items, things like the server. Um, right. You have to replace that. And it that there seems to be gaps. That 
is not really on a radar asked about the building because there was a plan there was a budgeted expenditure last year that was one of the auditor questions um, for this building nothing was spent you know so it I don't know that there is a grand plan anywhere for maintaining no the it's, there's not a grand plan I mean I've been involved in this process since before we had anything for the capital plan there wasn't a capital plan yeah and then we started the capital plan and we just threw something, a figure in there. There's no plan uh, for maintenance or anything. It's just that we just came up with a figure. Now we did spend some money on the heating system, didn't we not? The, what was it called, heat pump. Yeah, the heat pumps were all installed. And that was, that came out of that capital line. I haven't looked at where that came from. I believe so. That makes sense. But anyway, there's no grand plan. Yeah. You well, can, I mean, don't don't waste your time looking. Well, and there's more that needs to be done. Yes. You know, like even in this office, Seth and I spoke about this previously. Yeah. I mean, the carpet needs to be replaced. Yes. The walls inside right. outside need to be painted. Yes. Yes. We all decided to put a we as the collective office team decided we needed to put a pin in that all of that for right now. Yes. People are uncomfortable at their desks. Yeah. We need yes. to get furniture. Absolutely. That is going to make everyone's daily life better. Yeah. Right. The walls being perfectly painted will be great long term. Right. That's not really affecting us on a day to day to day. So let's address the immediate yes. issue, which is furniture. Yep. And then we'll yep. figure all the rest of this out later. No, no, I, I'm more than, I more than understand yeah. what your concern is and the priority that you've given to what you need to do. I just was curious about where the money is coming Yeah, from. and that is honestly something Michelle and I still need to get our heads around. Yeah, How okay. all of this is managed and how the funds, we, we didn't get a lot of clarity on that. So yeah. we're, we're still trying to figure some of these things out. Okay. So. so would it make sense to add to the motion language to the effect that... Um, we will revisit the question of where in the budget the uh, money will come from in a later meeting. Yeah, I think that may, I would okay. I would actually appreciate that because okay. that is something as Michelle and I take a look at this and, and figure this out. Yeah. We will come to the board because right. we may seek your guidance in some respects on some of this. So yeah. you know this. Well, I mean, no, how, okay. you, you've, you've <laughs> had expenditures and things come up in the past, so. Yeah. Yeah. When you no, we can figure it out. Think, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So is, for right now, though, I'd like to approve the office furniture expenditure, so you can get going on. Yeah. That motion has been made. Second. And second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Please say aye. 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 Okay. Sounds good. So when would that happen? So. I wrote in here six to eight weeks. He told us four to six. So, um, okay. yeah, so call it. I'm, I mean, I think it'll be more eight weeks. I mean, it's just. A couple months. Yeah, and then we have to figure out the logistics, too. We haven't dug into the details yeah. of what do we do with all of this furniture? Right. <laughs> when all of this comes in. Right. So um, some of this, I don't know if, um, if Vermont Surplus would be interested. Some of this furniture is probably not even in the condition to send Vermont Surplus. We'll figure that sure. out. Yeah. So that we have to figure out. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So um, are you good with the furniture thing? Okay. Uh, everyone else is? Yes. Okay. So let's move on to the town office hours because I see this is. So this is really me trying to determine the appetite of the select board for any potential change to the the hours in the office. Where this has really stemmed from is while it sounds wonderful that Friday is only a three hour work day, when we have people commuting now, I'm the only one that lives in East Montpelier from outside of East Montpelier, when they're driving about half of the time that they're coming into the office to work, a three hours doesn't really seem like the beneficial half day that you think it is. Um, yeah. It starts to seem like a lot of driving for a little bit of work and not even really able to get that much done in only three hours. And, and it's not like even people are asking to not come in on Fridays. It's more, I'm trying to ascertain the appetite for the board mm -hmm. for any potential change or tweak to the hours of the town office. Mm -hmm. 
What what is the you know business on Friday? Like how often do people come to Friday can shockingly be a busy day. Okay. <laughs> Ironically enough. So Rosie and I have spoken about this. Rosie's fine with the hours as they are. We may look at some flexibility for staff mm -hmm. um, and still maintaining the hours as they are. But Rosie had also been quick to point out to me that we're one of the only town offices that's actually open on Fridays. So if people learned of different of, of different hours, it doesn't mean people's behaviors wouldn't change and mm -hmm. they all come in on Thursday instead. I think a lot of that is just the mindset. Fridays and Mondays always seem to be, mm -hmm. be the busiest day. If you go to banks, mm -hmm. if you go to, it's just, I think that's just kind of human nature. So it would be odd if we closed the office on, on, on Fridays and just as many people came. <laughs> We would hope that wouldn't happen. Yeah. We would hope we would communicate this way. Um, so, um, so really, I just didn't know, you know, what your thoughts would be on on this. You know, I went and looked at other towns, and definitely the hours are, you know, they definitely vary. I mean, you know, it, depending on the town. We we discussed would it make more sense to have an early morning and later day. You know, so. You, there's a wide range in what towns are doing today. I just didn't know if it was a dead set. We've had these hours forever. We are not going to change. Or if they're, I'm not proposing any change right now. I'm just asking if we had a collective discussion as a team, would the select board even entertain any change in the, in the hours for the town? And to be clear, you're not talking about reducing the weekly hours worked by the town staff. No. Just right. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It'd be possibly distributed differently through the week or possibly uh, right, when you yeah. get the VPN set up, uh, yes. some more work from home. Correct. Yeah, okay. the, the work hours is, no, there yeah. is no change to that whatsoever. Right. right. Uh, I'm, yeah. I ahead. don't have any opposition to, you know, changing things and I would be, I would be open to perhaps opening earlier um, because I think the first time I came to the town clerk's office I came at eight and yeah. I was surprised that it wasn't open. Yeah. So yeah. I, I kinda like the way some towns have the different, you know, the early day and then maybe a late day. I, I think mm -hmm. there's a lot of potential there. So, you know, people would I agree with you. Nine to five is a tough time. Yes. It's, yeah. it's not, no one has an opportunity either on the way to or exactly. from work to really exactly. come into the town office. Yeah. So. Right. right. And that's tough with some other businesses too yeah. around. It's yeah. like, God, you, your hours are nine to five. That's strange. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'd get more people in the door if it was, you know, mm -hmm. six o'clock or eight o'clock in the morning or, yeah. but I guess we just have, I mean, I'm open to it. Okay. Again, I'm not asking for to change anything today. I'm right. just right. didn't know if it was even worth having this discussion in a more detailed level with the with the team or not. Yeah. I mean the thing is that there is remote possibilities for work. We're working to on some that. extent. Yes, yeah. But we haven't had very good remote capabilities. That's that's in your TA. So that's been that's a problem. in your TA report. That is in process. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a thought. And the only other unique thing that I would like to do is, you know, we're, we have what we call a morning stand-up, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, where yeah. we just, we gather in the, in the room right out there, and we just check yeah. in with each other. You know, yeah. what does everybody have on their plate? You know, for right. example, this election is tomorrow. So, yeah. you know, what, what's going on? Who's kind of heads buried and, you know, yeah. maybe leave me alone today <laughs> kind of conversation in a respectful way. But, you know, yeah. I have deadlines and if I'm quiet today, here's why. Um, so we do those. Obviously, the office is open. If people come in, yeah, step away, do what we need to do. We come back when we can. Um, but, you know, I would like this team. This is a new team. Um, I would like to be able to have uninterrupted meetings with them, potential trainings as well. So... You know, I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, if we're going to have something like that, I would want to close the office for an hour yeah. um, for the team. I've thought about actually doing these at lunch, mm -hmm. um, maybe just getting getting some sandwiches from Dudley's or go yeah. to Plainfield Hardware, get some sandwiches, bring them in and just have a, a meeting. You know, we're all trying to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. We're all trying to learn how to work together and learn our personalities. It gives us an opportunity to, to talk without needing to step away because yeah. obviously we communicate but someone comes in the door and yeah, priority yeah. shifts immediately so you know we would communicate anything like this ahead of time i haven't determined what i would like to get on somewhat of a regular cadence of something like this yeah um you know whether that's what's a month you know we'll 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 again we'll talk about this as a group um 
but I just wanted to let you all know that as well. So it would be very limited closures, but it's important to have uninterrupted time together. Yeah. How limited it may be on occasion. I think as far as the flexibility on the hours, we just need to know, get a proposal oh, from yeah, you. Oh, yeah, exactly. And then that, we'll just, you I know. I may not even bring anything to you in the near future. It's just something I wasn't sure. What yeah, no, I, I can appreciate it. I mean, we discussed a little bit, you and I, about Michelle coming in on Friday for three hours work when she lives 45 minutes away. Yeah. It can be, we'll just. We're in a See new what you say. With this, with this office, whereas the staff all previously either lived in yeah. Montpelier or were just over the line in Cal. Right. Um, we're not in that situation anymore. And no. Hopefully, we'll never be. So I think it does make right. you have to think out of the box a little bit and yeah, how, yeah. how the office operates. Well, sounds good. See sure. what happens. We will let you know. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, discuss town hours is done. Discussion on town management in light of COVID nineteen. Let's see, what do we got here? We are still at low. The yep. case rate has decreased from the last meeting. We're now at 71.91. Um, actually, all the numbers have decreased, which is at least positive from, from the last meeting. Um, COVID admissions are 4.4% and percent of staff inpatient beds um, by patients with confirmed COVID is 2.1%. Of course, I don't have the last meeting numbers right in front of me, but I know these are all over. Um, than they were than they were for the last meeting. And even nationally, numbers are down. There are about 300 people a week dying in the U.S. from COVID well, now. But don't read the articles on long COVID, as Carl mentioned in the last yeah. meeting. Ten percent, right? There's something. Certainly, there's a Is lot of that. I think it's ten percent. Possibly. Of people, yeah. I read it somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, I mean, I had COVID pretty badly. I'm yeah. glad I don't have any after effects. But. I know of. But, but yeah, <laughs> what I've Maybe I do. What I've read is that you can get it mildly and still get long COVID. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh? Huh? And it seems to be cumulative as well. Right. Multiple people with multiple infections are having more issues yeah. than those that just had it once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not uncommon to have it more than once. The latest article I read was no. starting to, to question studying children and the impacts there. So that was the horrifying part. Oh, okay. Huh. So On children. Yeah, well, it remains to be seen. We're talking about a lot of impacts in adults. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Right. Long term experiment. There's some concern about cardiovascular impacts to children as mm. they develop. Because there's a lot of heart issues with COVID. Yeah, yeah. there are a lot of heart issues with COVID. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, who knows? It's kind of scary. Yeah. Okay, so that takes care of uh, town management light of COVID 19. No change. We have warrants, right? Yes. Uh, right here. Yeah. Oh, this is the one. Oh, this is the one right here. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. The on top. red one is the paper. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. yeah. Chase and Chase for 11 grand, eh? It's actually less than we expected, so they did a good job. Well, someone had to be there. And the rec I knew what they were doing. The rec board drop safe? Do you know what that is? That's the, uh, that's their lock box. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that's the term they use. Okay. Are the um, employees of the town in the office notaries rosie okay. which jess is going to work on getting her notary. Okay. is she going for the training i know that the bba held a training last week and it may offer another one um, she did attend do you know what a scar fire is a what a scar fire she attended yeah it's something that makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And and payment or concrete yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Really with yeah. A lot of figures people. something like that okay. yeah and what's been done in terms of town garage security you know, I thought we talked about that one time. I looked at that invoice. That was actually one of Guthrie's invoices. I'm not 100 percent sure what. Okay. We don't, don't we have Mount? There. Yeah, yeah, there is a. It was Mount. Yes. Uh, what's it called? Um, Mountain something. It's a local company in Plainfield. Mountain View. Mountain View Security. 
Okay. Okay. So next thing we have to do? Oh, town's administrative report. Well, just a reminder, tomorrow is election day. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not aware. <laughs> no. And so the poll the polls are open up in schools. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we've had quite a few ballots already returned, ironically enough. I think uh, Rosie gave me some numbers, so about uh, 42% of registered voters um, have already submitted their ballots. Uh, so, yeah. In Dropbox or by mail? Uh, you, well, way. by mail, Dropbox, and walking them in. It's, it's been a revolving door mm -hmm. of oh. people coming in with, with ballots. Um, yeah. So really good news on that front. Um, the one thing Rosie did mention to me, just to relay to you, that she's had two voters contact her with concerns about the mass mailing um, of ballots, they oppose that, prefer the old way where if you wanted a ballot mailed to your home, you had to request the absentee ballot be mailed. Um, they feel that if you want to vote, you should engage and request the ballot be sent to you instead of the mass mailing. So mm -hmm. I do understand from Rosie, this will be a question that will come to the board yep. soon um, uh, in regards to how we will proceed for the upcoming town meeting and. Um, and for for that vote. Um, what, what was the basis for their concern? They just feel that if you, that voters should have to request their ballot. They're feeling that um, people should push more to engage in democracy rather than have a hand to it. Okay. No, uh, no, seriously. I mean, you, you've the talked with them or you speculate? No, no, I was just, extrapolating no, I mean, from what she's saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whereas our feeling, because to support the concept of the mass mailing, is that people need to be pushed to engage in democracy. Or they shouldn't be burdened to engage in democracy. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. to flip it around. Yeah. Yeah. That's the same point, is that we felt, and I know I strongly feel this way, is that people are busy with other things and we want them to engage and this is a way they will engage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's proven just by the ink uptick that we've had since we did the mass mailings mm -hmm. of people engaging and voting. And yeah. that is fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I would not back off that. I will not personally back off on that. <laughs> so they're welcome to come here and talk to us yeah. about it. Well, and it will be on the agenda. Yep. Rosie and I have to pick when to bring to the select board because there is no longer, I believe the state, I think, I don't know that you were required to mail them out, but it's no. basically it's a it's still a decision of whether we want to continue with they, the mass they mailing paid for it the first or time. if we want yeah, yeah or if we right. want to. Well, for town meeting you're talking about. Correct. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 For, for, the, for right. the general election, yes. Then yes. the yes. state pays for it. We're required to send yes. mail them out. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. even now? Yeah. yeah. That was a change in 2021. <laughs> and we we are required to mail. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, didn't know, I, didn't, I thought that was an option. For town meeting, <laughs> I think it was. A oh, the town meeting was an option. Right. 
Option, option. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the things that we aren't allowed to uh, right. bail out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> like so we the, can't do those now. Like that budget uh, yeah. for the technical center because, or no, the votes, uh, the election for the technical center because there are some place, no, the school budget, because there are some school towns that did not want to have that mailed out. Yeah, that was an exception. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, I'm assuming that we would have town meeting in person this year. I hope so. But, yeah. We'll have to talk about it. But, yeah. being the COVID number, but well, maybe, not, maybe not, I don't, I'm just assuming that. But we'd still uh, mail out the ballots we could. for the general election. Yeah, or, and for town rather than, if we wanted. Right. Yeah, right. we can. Right. I mean, we've had fantastic participation mm -hmm. since we started doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's it's thrilling watching all of these come in. I, Hell yeah! I, I, I think yeah. we were. I'm excited. We were, we were at the last meeting, and and I commented to her. I said, "Oh, somebody just dropped off their ballot," and she was like, "I said, I hear it all day. <laughs> it's right outside my my window." So I said, "I know the sound of that box. Mm -hmm. I know at this time, other times of year, of course, it can be anything, a payment yeah. of some sort. But this time of year, it's it's right." either a tax payment or, or a ballot, but a lot of times it's both. People are coming in and paying my taxes and they have their ballot in their hand at the same time. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's yeah. really nice to see. Yeah. It's also helpful as well just to tell you today someone came and a gentleman came in and, and asked, um, his mother was in the car and um, was asking about how she could vote, recently had moved to town and Rosie yeah. said, oh, she could come tomorrow or, you know, she could Good, come right. in and fill out a ballot. And he was like, oh, okay, and Rosie said, wait, she's here with you? He goes, yeah, she's in the car, her mobility is not Rosie, it's not great. Rosie said, well, I can take the ballot to her, to yeah. the car. So Rosie, Rosie was like, I can't, she can't give the ballot to him to take yeah. Rosie yeah. 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 and physically take the ballot out mm. to the, and she, so she went to the car um, for this lady to, complete her ballot. So I mean it's a great wow. you know, yeah. great opportunities for people to engage. You know? yeah. And oh, wonderful yeah. that people are coming to engage. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I mean the thing that's happened is because our society has changed, people are, you know, it's not they don't seem to take the time to engage like they did in the past. But the, but our challenge as a town is to rise to the occasion. It's a challenge and to get people to engage. And that's what we've done. So it's a recognition that things have changed. You know, things never stay in the same place. It's just like the 200-year-old statutes that we deal with. We have to realize mm -hmm. democracy involves. Mm -hmm. And we are in a position to affect that. Mm -hmm. That we're evolving. So it's a good thing from my perspective, and some of us it is too. So, so one thing I'll be curious to see, I haven't asked Rosie about this, but... And you know, we've had the discussions in the past about when we accept tax payments. Is it at five o'clock? Is it midnight? Oh boy! <laughs> uh, but mail, yeah. mailed in ballots or all ballots must be in the hands of the town clerk by seven p.m. tomorrow. There's, yeah. Uh, we have no choice. Right. On that. Right. I wonder if anybody will get it in later and say, "Well, I mailed it before." Right. 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 Well, right. last year, and I'll check this tomorrow with the box. I was the one that got the the ballots out of the box at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. Not last year, the last election. Um, and uh, we taped, I taped the box, put yeah. tape over the box so no one could, I mean, right. they could have yeah. the tape and of yeah, yeah. put something in, but that kind of indicated you yeah, yeah. shouldn't put anything in the box. <laughs> <laughs> um, same thing with the post office at 5 p.m. is when yeah. we collect, so I was like, between, I went to mm. post office and I so technically I probably got these at like 5.05. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, you know, we do our best to try to let people know that there, there is yeah. a, a and deadline. And there's a sign on the box. Itself. Yeah. Let yeah. people know that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, so it's that an interesting. You can take them to the elementary school until seven p.m. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Um, right. So. Huh. Okay. Okay. Who's working the election tomorrow? Uh, I I am. Anybody else? I'm not. No. Nope. Okay. The town office will be closed tomorrow for that because both Rosie and the municipal assistant will be up there at the school because this is training for Jess. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, for her to learn this process. So, yeah. good. so oh, good. she will be with Rosie side by side good. Well, or performing certain tasks yeah. <laughs> as she's assigned yep. um, yeah. throughout the day tomorrow. Nice. So, yeah. So, do um, you have more on your. Yeah, so yeah, I, you did. I wanted to ask, as we all previously mentioned, budget, town meeting prep is coming up. And obviously, this is all new to me um, as both a new East Montpelier resident. Um, and obviously now the town administrator. So I was wondering if there was a select board member who would kind of volunteer if I have maybe a, an, an 
idiot's guide question or you know can you tell me how's this or what's that that I could reach out to if I come up with questions as I start going through my my how-to for all of this is reading old select board agendas and mm -hmm. select board memos and trying to follow that that process but I may have a question mm -hmm. um, so I didn't know if someone would volunteer to be my kind of my my town meeting budget 101 if I have mm -hmm. any questions of what really what I'm looking for here is to ensure I meet your expectations and give you what you all are used to receiving. So if I could just have someone to, you know, like I said, I can follow what's been done, but sometimes a question may come up. You can get a hold of me anytime you want to, but I mean, Carl could, is a good resource yeah. sometimes. I, I am too, so. Yeah. Okay. I, th I think you have a more detailed view of the posts in the budget than I do. Yeah. Okay, I'll bug you if I have questions. Anytime. Have, okay. have you also, uh, found the various worksheets that Bruce has prepared for us mm -hmm. during the budget process. Yes, where I'm the, tweaking them some, but yes. Where the unsettled posts are in yellow and the settled posts are not highlighted, and you just see. That I don't know. Okay. Because the well, highlighting may be gone by the time I have the files. So okay. Well, that. basically, it's the changes that we need to look at. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So there will know. be changes in the budget. I mean, as oh, there's know, no question. Yeah. Salaries in and of themselves is certainly going to be, which yeah. obviously that always changes. But there's just there's just other things. For example, when I yeah. reforecast the current year, we're going to have more IT expense. We've had yeah. new computers that have, we are not new computers, but computers that have to be changed over, and you know, yeah. credentials changed, and all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah. the VPN network. Um, so, so so we expect changes, and just the way we've done it in the past is that. We have each line item that's going to be changed presented to us, and yes, we say absolutely. thumbs up, thumbs down, oh, or um, this one's probably going to be changed, but we're waiting for the rec board to come back to us with some information okay. Or, okay. or whoever, so it stays highlighted for a while. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a big fan of highlighting and big yeah. fan of commentary as well, so um, yeah. so yeah, absolutely. And that, that works pretty well because there's so many figures sometimes for us to digest. It's oh, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you're so looking at 10 reason. pages, it's like, yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. No, absolutely. Okay, yeah, anytime. So, update you on the external audit report. Um, again, as I was reviewing prior select board agendas and meetings, um, we have not heard anything back from the external oh. auditor. So oh. Michelle called and followed up. And he told her that I had not responded to, her, to his uh, email with questions after the audit, but I did on August 25th. Um, he overlooked that email, so while she was on the phone with him, she was like, no, she responded to you. And he was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oops. Um, so he said that we have now been placed at the top of his file. Oh, right? nice. Yeah, so hopefully we have something in the next, next couple weeks. Because um, we've actually been waiting. There are just a few cleanup kind of journal entries that we had notice and kind of discuss but he told us not to book anything until we get it so we've been anxiously waiting for this um so um so i will keep you posted on that um and then just to let you all know as we talk about remote work one thing that i've been working with rb tech on is establishing a vpn network um, which creates essentially just a more efficient way to work remotely um, we've had to reconfigure the IP address for the office to do that because we were running into some issues. Uh, when they set up everything, when RB Tech set up everything here, they specifically asked if remote connectivity was necessary and they were told no. So the structure was not enabled to mm -hmm. easily allow for that. So we are having to make some tweaks to the configuration to allow for that. So um, Holland was actually here on Friday um, and was deploying my old desktop. So the TA used to have two computers, a desktop and a laptop. Mm -hmm. We needed a desktop to create the VP. I wanted to move to the laptop anyway as my sole computer. Um, we needed a desktop to be able to enable VPN. So I went ahead and moved to the laptop. <coughs> I decommissioned my desktop for the TA and it, it's now downstairs. Um, it is going to be a, a base for our VPN. So we're working on getting a VPN network set up. Really, this becomes, outside of RBTEC's time, <coughs> to set up a net effect of no cost to the town. We were already paying for log me in subscriptions, which only gave two people in the office the ability to connect in remotely. Um, this is essentially the same cost, um, but it will enable us to connect up to 10 computers um, or 10 <coughs> laptops essentially to the network for the office and really enables people to work remotely a lot more efficiently. I'm not a fan of logging in anyway because I don't like that my computer would come to life here. Mm -hmm. So anyone could be watching everything right. I'm doing right. on my computer. So I was not a big, 
I, I didn't realize that was how it worked until I came into the office and tested it, and that yeah. kind of freaked me out, to be quite honest with you. Because yeah. I lock my computer when I leave my, well, it's here now, but when I leave my desk. Um, yeah. So I was not a fan of that. So mm -hmm. this, once we get this going, yeah. um, likely we'll end up purchasing one more laptop for the office for the one remaining person that really has the ability to work remote, and that would be for the treasurer. Um, so I just want to, I want to get this infrastructure up and running, <laughs> test it, know that yeah. it works before we invest in, in a laptop and, and switch her off, um, of the desktop onto a laptop. So, so what's a laptop cost? I had a laptop. Call it about, probably about 2000. Oh yeah. Maybe a little less. We got, we got the last ones a little less, so I'm hoping, but. And where are you buying? Uh, we, we bought the last ones directly from Lenovo. But um, ordinarily, we would go through RB Tech, but RB Tech, their suppliers, it was easier to go directly to Lenovo for the last ones. And they okay. were cheaper. And RB Tech advised us to go ahead and just get them from there. Oh. Actually, okay. they worked with us to help us do that purchase, but yeah. it was direct from Lenovo. Huh. So, a couple things. Um, one, do you have the capability of turning off the monitor? on the computer because if you turn off the monitor yeah. that doesn't matter if it oh, comes yeah. to life people yeah. won't see it yeah. unless they turn it on yeah. that's a little less conspicuous the other is i'm a little concerned about electronics going into the basement is it that's well, where the server is that's where they've always been yeah, it's okay. up on something it's up yeah it's, well, it's above up. the flood level oh yeah, yeah it's up okay but yeah okay. that's where all the network equipment is yeah okay i don't think yeah. we've had much water in there though mm -hmm. we have a pump down there right and then i had some ditching down in the back, yeah. which I think helped a lot, but mm -hmm. I was just curious if we'd had water down there. I mean, ideally, been... yes. I would love to not have that equipment in there. I don't mm -hmm. honestly know where it can go right. yeah. up in the main area of the building. I think that's why, but yeah, the server was, all that was already was down there well before I got here. Yeah. So. Okay. But it's up, it's not like I'm Oh full. yeah, it's all up. Yeah, yeah, it's up either on a table and then some of it's mounted to the wall. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's not on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. Anything else? Uh, one new permit application, and then I have the schedule for the upcoming meetings. I don't know if this works in everyone's schedules. I know Carl and me won't be here for the next meeting, but November twenty first. Hopefully, I will be. <laughs> I'll be remote that day. Oh, okay. I might be on on a plane, but I'll have to see what time I'm going to get back. <laughs> I might be. Oops. I'll be on a train. I might be able to phone in. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, you may not have enough Wi-Fi capability. For right. That. Yeah. December fifth, I'll be here. Nineteenth, I'll be here. Okay. December nineteenth. Yep. It's my mom's birthday. Okay. I think we're good. I think we, do we desire an executive session? Do we? We've got a piece of paper in front of us that looks like it might. Oh we yeah. We might want to go into executive yeah, session. Yeah, we better. To, yeah, Good. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. So I move to go into executive session under 1 VSA section 313A3. We are appointing or employing or evaluating a public officer or employee. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 It's a big birthday. It is a big birthday. It doesn't look so festive. Yeah, it's perfect. Whenever you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, so we are now out of the executive session. At 8.08. At 8.08. And we need a motion. I, I move to uh, approve the memorandum of understanding with the road foreman and to authorize the town uh, select board chair to sign it. A second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Okay. Okay. What usually follows that? A move that we adjourn. <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> do we have a second? Second. John seconds it. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Yeah.